We've got a few things going on this week, but the next couple of days mission is to get out of the bathroom wall up and our vanity. How do you feel about your carpentry skills compared to two years ago? Mm -hmm. Not that much, and then we can slide it in. You're so clever. <laughs> so this is another eight inches. So that goes up to here. Oh boy. Boy, they're like the same size and they're all fairly big. Do you know what the feels like temperature is right now? Uh, hot and grumpy and <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> We're Mela and Don. We uprooted our lives and left Los Angeles with the dream of converting an MCI D3 40 foot bus into a tiny home on wheels. We are sharing our progress one bite at a time. <laughs> what? How to eat an elephant one bite at a time. <laughs> <laughs> morning. It's nice and early. I couldn't sleep. I woke up at 3 a.m. So I've been just dying for the sun to come up. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden. We've got a few things going on this week, but the next couple of days mission is to get out of the bathroom wall up and our vanity and mirror installed in the bathroom. So let's get going. I'm gonna wait for Don to do that. Gold hair, gold rings, gold leaves, gold hair, gold things. All right, we gotta chop it and make them smaller because this is, just needs to be yeah. there and this just has to come to there. Yeah. Super solid. I can imagine maybe okay. we'll put some pocket holes and fasten it into here. It's not permanent. We have to get a different clamp. Okay. This clamp's too small. Clamp's not gonna work. I've got the 12 volt wiring for the fan. I checked it, but as I've been working on it, I've been disconnecting the fuse and it's supposed to stop the power uh, from going from the positives to the load. Unfortunately, this cheapo 12 volt fuse block we got by WPP, it doesn't actually break the circuit when you pull the fuse box out. Now I think it's a knockoff of a Blue Sea Systems box, so we're probably gonna have to replace it. But it is an important reminder that you always need to disconnect your power anytime you're working on electricity. I've got it wired up now. I'm gonna put the fuse back into place so it'll have full power. And we'll see if we got it right. All right, let's see if it goes green. There you go, hear it. 
Yep, it's working. Can you fit your fingers in there? Barely. I think they should go closer together. <laughs> okay, that's good. Like that. Yeah. If you want to, I'll get you flowers waiting around the bend. Baby, let's just pretend. I want to stay like this forever. I want to stay right here with you. I want to stay right here with you. As the rest we fall until it all breaks down. But I need it so. I will stay around when you're all messed up. It's a great relief to be understood. It's a shame still waters run. So a vanity came with little feet, but we're not going to use the little feet underneath it. We're going to build up like a box, like a toe kit box. So we're going to figure out what height we want that to be. How deep is our cabinet? I don't know. We're going to figure that out. Like how far out can it come? Tip knife again. So this is another eight inches. So that goes up to here. Oh boy. After way too much deliberation, <laughs> in my opinion, we've decided to make a medicine cabinet for our sunshine mirror. But we do have to let go of our shelf idea. We wanted to have a little shelf underneath the mirror that would house a toothpaste, a toothbrush, and hand soap. But we trying to fit too many things into this small space and it just wasn't all going to fit. So we decided to keep the medicine cabinet, but lose the shelf. And instead of the shelf, we're going to find an alternative, some kind of simple basket that can go on each side of the faucet. We're trying to leave the essentials out always so that when you're driving, they can stay out. You don't have to pack everything away. We're getting ready to cut our wool and put it in, but we realized before we do that, we need to put in the trim piece that's gonna go between the wall and our ceiling where we've got wiring running and our insulation still sticks out. Now we're trying to have it match the trim that's running all the way down the one side of the bus. We bought barnwood trim for this purpose. However, we wanted to match that barnwood trim, but we wanted to use a thicker wood. We're gonna use three quarter inch plywood because we actually have to secure our shower curtain rail into this trim. I'm not a morning person, but it was really fun to be up this morning in time to see the sunrise, because I know me in the basement totally miss out. But my 3 a.m. wake up call this morning is starting to hit me. <laughs> I'm starting to get tired. Well, this doesn't fit, so it doesn't matter. We gotta get a different piece. It's too big to go under, which is what I was trying to get it to do. All right, going down to half inch plywood. So the reason we have to do this trim first is because we wouldn't be able to get our wall to cut snug up against it until this trim was done. Uh, we do have a template, and we're going to start with that template uh, because we used it for that wall. We used it for a starting point for a little piece for the cement board. But for our template this time, we might have to make a couple little modifications because it's got a different trim piece that we'd be putting up in this area in the bathroom. So we've actually been working on the electrical system this week too. And Don decided to turn the bus around to face the other direction. So 
normally the back of the bus would be up against the trees here, but we've got the front of the bus up against the trees now because they wanted to be able to have all the electrical accessible from that side, which is all good, except that this side gets muddy. And that means our entrance here and our mats are totally messed up. Get some breakfast because we haven't had any breakfast yet. So, breakfast burrito. Really good. Oh, that was a nice little brunch. Now we get the template in the bus and we're gonna take the bottom piece off from the side piece and try to get it to align a little better to uh, this part of the wall. We did use Luan for the template, which seemed to be a really good way to go for the other wall. So we're doing the same thing using that same template and just gonna modify it to fit uh, this area of the wall. Just make sure it's down on this corner, up against your... Uh why would they're all the way down? It's great. Okay, really, really close. You're getting really good at making bus walls. Hmm. Well, yep, as we finish our last one, of course. Last wall going I in. Know what to do. Maybe we should make more walls. No, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> Just a little bit more to shave off. We've reached the point of the day where it's starting to get too hot and humid. And <laughs> we have to be really careful with Don. Um, you know, he has kidney stone problems and he drinks a lot of water, but when it gets so hot and he sweats and sweats and sweats, it's not good. Like he gets dehydrated and that's when he can form stones. So it's starting to get hot and humid. So I think it's just a particularly bad week. So we're only gonna work in the mornings and afternoons will be computer work. Oh. Oh. It does feel good. <laughs> 
All right, I'll take some on my head. You want? Oh, on my head. <laughs> There's a lot of days when we're working on the bus and it's frustrating and we don't get a whole lot done. Today we didn't get a whole lot done, but it was a good day. I think we had a lot of fun. We'll see you tomorrow. Temperatures are just getting <clears throat> so uncomfortable in the afternoons. So I'm trying to do more work in the mornings. It's a little bit after seven. Nice and cool this morning. Probably got about four hours before the heat comes here. I'm gonna try to do a bunch of odds and ends so I can be prepared to put the wall in. I'm not real talkative early in the morning, especially when I haven't had a cup of coffee yet, so. Here's a montage. shower curtain rod is only needs to hold up a shower curtain. I'm going to put a little bit of bracing and some finishing up where the rod goes in to both hold it in place and also make it look nice. I don't know what that's going to be yet. I'm going to be at the hardware store later today, so I'll look around there. Next thing on my list to do is put some pocket holes in our new wall so it's prepped and ready to go once I got some help out here to put it into place. Good. Great. We just want to take a quick little break from the video here to say how much we are enjoying all your comments from last week's Q&A video. Yeah, asking for you to guess how old we were was highly entertaining. <laughs> thank you everyone for participating and thank most of you for guessing way under what our actual age was. It made us feel pretty good. But we thought it was really cool to hear about everybody who is living in buses and vans or going to do a conversion and telling us how old you were. And I know Chronic Fish really appreciated it too. It's gonna be a scorching hot day. So we decided today we're gonna go inside the bus, get some measurements for our kitchen. So we basically have 115 inches to work with until we get to the bathroom wall and this is the fireplace. Okay. 
We've got some basic measurements. We're sticking with our basic L kitchen design. We are going to buy most of our cabinets. We decided against making them ourselves. I mean, we could make it make a little bit bigger. And we will be building some upper cabinets similar to what we have in our bedroom but we're hoping that they have some doors that we can purchase to put on them so they match all the other cabinets. We're going to start with the base corner cabinet. Moving on to standard cabinets. There was one where this where they're like the same size, so they're all fairly big. And there's another one that has a door and cabinets uh, slide out inside it, which had a similar... Interior drawers. I like how there's drawer dividers too for these drawers, see? Mm got our plans together for our cabinetry. It's going to be a little tricky because we've got a whole list of questions. Of course, nothing's going to be simple, but I think we should be able to order everything today. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to take any of it home or not, but we'll find out. This video is not sponsored by Menards, but it probably should be. I don't know if you're tired of watching us go to the hardware store all the time, but we have found Menards to be a great place for us to shop for a lot of our bus needs and we're super excited about the kitchen cabinets. We found they had a lot more variety than Ikea. Again, I'm not saying this because this video is sponsored in any way. We're just super happy with what they have to offer. So let's go get our kitchen cabinets, baby. Cabinets. Thank you, Sandy, for all your help. <laughs> it was helpful to have someone navigate us through that all. There were a lot of little special things we had to customize uh, because we got to find a way to mount our dishwasher, our sink, <laughs> and our convection oven, all that stuff. It all went pretty smooth, though. When we first got there, we walked around a little bit to look at some of the options for things that we were talking about, like how to put trash under the sink and slide out drawers and it's just a lot easier to see it in person and understand how it works than picking it all out online and then we talked a little bit about our finish the color the type of shelf uh, drawer door that we would want I eventually just told Mella that she could pick and she got a little nervous <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a paint chip from the paint for our walls and the whole time we've been thinking about going with this Stroma White, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. But now that we're looking at all of them, I'm gonna go ahead and let Mella pick whichever one she wants. Why would anyone I want? <laughs> I want you to watch, choose two. <laughs> well, I know which two I like, so. Which two do you like? I like this one, and I like this one. Put it all on me, and then if I pick it and you don't like it, I don't like that. I really like the dark one too, but I'm worried that we're just darkening up the room that we're trying to lighten up. It turns out it's a good thing that we haven't completed our bathroom wall yet because we thought that when we ordered this, it all came completely separate and that we would totally assemble the boxes of the kit cabinets. But it turns out 
you get an assembled box and then you add your drawers and doors and everything to it. Yeah, in the middle of getting ready to place the order, <laughs> we said, wait a minute, how are we gonna get these into the bus? Uh, luckily, my dad was around. He was able to go jump into the bus and get some measurements. And if we don't put the, if we don't finish our wall, we should be able to get everything in. But that means we can't quite finish our wall. Yeah, we gotta hold up on the bathroom stuff then. Yep, but boy, we spent two and a half hours and we've only got a giant list of paper to show for it. <laughs> Definitely our most expensive hardware store. <laughs> With our discovery that we cannot continue to build this wall because we need to get the kitchen stuff in but we don't have the kitchen stuff quite yet we're trying to figure out what we can still do in the bathroom today i think all we can do really is build our box for the toe kick and build our box for our medicine cabinet we can't install any of it until the wall is complete and painted and all that but we can at least get the boxes ready so let's do that and now i've got to try and find Scrap wood, that will work. This has become a disaster in here, okay? Our detailed blueprints are getting rougher and rougher with each project. How do you feel about your carpentry skills compared to two years ago? Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't improved that much, but I guess I've made some improvements. <laughs> I think you made a lot of improvements. Look at that, we built a box. So this box here is basically the toe kick for underneath our bathroom vanity. Our plumbing is all gonna be run down here, both for the vanity sink and for the kitchen sink is gonna come in through here and go down to get to the tanks underneath here. And we want this to be accessible so Don can work on it. Well, I definitely see an improvement in our carpentry skills because that went real quick. And it makes me feel a lot better because our plan is to build all of our own toe kicks for the kitchen cabinetry. Do you know what the feels like temperature is right now? Uh, hot and grumpy and <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> Pretty much. I went in and checked the weather station and it said it's 122. Which pretty much equals grumpy and uncomfortable. shelf don't you think oh yeah because it's not gonna hold anything heavy right. and then we so, don't take up too much space how do you connect this though I guess maybe with uh, a little brackety thing you no know? well what I'm gonna do is just adjust the saw and cut into this mm, and just slide it in about that much and then we can slide it in you're so clever <laughs> you just want the shelf in the middle middle I think should we go so. grab a thing of like Advil or so with it being such a teeny tiny medicine cabinet, we're trying to figure out what size we need to make this little shelf in here and what can we really fit into it. And the answer is not much. Or it might mean no more buying big bottles of Advil, only buying little bottles for a little home.
we put a little bit of a lip on each shelf so that <laughs> when you open it, there's at least something to help hold things in because I know when you drive around, everything gets doodled about and um, everything will want to just fall out. So hopefully that little lip will help things somewhat stay in when you open it after driving. That's about all we can do today for the bathroom. I'll get to sanding and staining these. We won't be able to install them until we've got our kitchen stuff into the bus. And Don's actually going to move on to the electric. He's been working on the electric for a while now. So we're going to catch you up on what's been going on in the electric world Habitate next week. Mm -hmm.